you don't miss May 23. Can you not? 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 Happy Vlogmas! Okay, you Happy Vlogmas, May 23. I can't do this. Okay, stop. You guys suck. Happy Vlogmas Day 23. Good job, guys. at a fries. Apparently this is the year of we're not having Rice Krispie treats. Hello, I am going to get started on a little bit of baking today. Not much because it's already after dinner. I got kind of a late start today. Let me tell you why. I stayed up far too late. I finished The Christmas Pig the new uh, book by J.K. Rowling, Rowling, not sure, Rowling, I think. Um, she is amazing. Oh my gosh, that book is one of my top, I would say top five of all time books I've ever read. Oh my gosh, it was so, so good. So I couldn't go to bed till I finished it because I was so close and um I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Her, the way she tells the story is just off the hook. Anyway, I ordered it from Amazon. Yes, that is a stick of butter you see in my hand. I ordered it from Amazon like as soon as I finished the last word because I knew I wanted to have it. I'm almost debating reading it when we get back to school because it's that good. And yes, it's called The Christmas Pig, but it's not a Christmassy story, really. Like the main story itself is not, so we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to make the round chocolate ball cookies that I was talking about, the one that I found the recipe upstairs in my file that I was super excited about. Um, we begin by, a um, little bit of a complaint here. We begin by melting, it says 12 ounce package of chocolate chips. Why do chocolate chips come in an 11.5 ounce package? Why? Is that weird? I think that's weird. But anyway, I'm assuming this is what they mean. I could put a handful from another package, but I'm not. So I have to melt this. Already did the hand washing. Already did all that. Already have my pan or yeah, pan. What's wrong with me? And I have to cut this down. Um, so I have to melt this with butter and then cool it down. So I'm gonna do that um, because then you add eggs to it and you don't want your eggs to cook. So there's that. I also have a pan ready with some wax paper on it. That is going to be where I put the balls once they're rolled. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hey, look, they're numbered. That's clever. And yet I still counted. <laughs> okay, here we go. Gonna do this and then I will take it over to the stove and cook it and then I will be back. I hate when the paper rips and there's still paper on your butter. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I have my melted chocolate. I am going to put it in a bowl and then when it cools down a little bit, I will add the eggs. While I'm waiting for that to cool, look what I found at Fry's today. The marshmallows that I was looking for yesterday and had to buy 
cacti and llama marshmallows. So trust me, the cacti llama marshmallows will not go to waste. I'll do something fun at school with them. I don't know what, but maybe a fraction activity. We'll see. Anyway, um, I need three eggs, three cups of powdered sugar, and one, okay, now this is also weird, one 10.5 ounce package. This is 10 ounces. What is my recipe? What even is going on? Maybe I just typed it wrong because I think I typed this from my mom's recipe. Anyway, not really sure. I'm going to get the powdered sugar ready. This has cooled down enough. I'm going to add the eggs. There's one. Do you hate making a mess while you bake? I do. I hate making messes, period. Well, I don't, well, yeah, I do. Two. I mean, it's all in good fun, and I get that, but it stresses me out a little bit. I like a clean everything. Three, okay, now I'm gonna mix that in. This kind of curbs your desire to want to eat all the chocolate, because yuck. Okay, once I get this worked in, then, I'll put in the powdered sugar, sorry. Realize I hadn't finished that thought. Okay, so there's what we have right now. I'm gonna get my scissor and cut a corner off of that. bake so little that I just usually end up tossing out what I have and starting over because, you know, it's just not worth it to go to all the effort of baking if it's not going to be fresh and yummy. All right, so... a bit of a mess over here but it's all in the name of deliciousness so it's fine I think we can call that pretty close to two now probably should stop and stir but I'm gonna get them all in first this isn't that hard I actually think I'll probably switch over to a spoon though I like the spatula the spatula thing because it knocks everything down off the side really nicely. All right, we'll call that three. And then put that aside. Gonna get this all blended in. No, this is working, this is fine. Ooh, it's like stirring chocolate into a cloud. And then next and last are the marshmallows. <laughs> this recipe is extremely easy. The time consuming part is when you have to, it says in the recipe it makes nearly 80, holy cow. Of course, I don't think it probably ever made that many because I always ate it as I went. <laughs> 70 maybe, I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> you have to uh, put butter on your hands as you're rolling or you just end up with the worst chocolate hands ever. So I left, I don't know if you can see it over there, I left the remains of the stick of butter that I used for the recipe over there because I will use that and just take it and grease up my hands and roll and then grease them up again and roll some more chocolate balls and yum. Okay, this is looking pretty well mixed. And also, my arm hurts, so I'm gonna switch. That's sad. Okay, so there we go. And now, da 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 da, this goes in. I'm so excited. Now, the recipe says you can add walnuts or pecans. We never did, and I never would want to. Just a personal preference, but if you do want to, 
it is one cup, it says. Doesn't seem to matter um, as far as, you know, like this being the right consistency. Um, also, it, it might matter with this, uh, the number that you get as a yield, but I'm not really sure. Um, okay, so refrigerate the next part I'm not going to be able to show you a done version tonight but that's okay I have to refrigerate this for an hour to two hours so I will just have to show you in tomorrow's vlog darn anyway so this is it for right now um, once this hardens in the fridge after an hour to two then I think I'm gonna sprinkle the tiny, uh, I have chocolate everywhere. I'm gonna sprinkle the tiniest bit, oh, well, or you know, a lot, no, it's fine, of powdered sugar in there. I feel like um, it needed a little bit more. And my measuring skills were not on point. Let's, let's, be, let's be honest. Um, oh, good news, also at Fry's when I was there, they had vanilla wafers. You know what I forgot though? Orange juice. I need frozen orange juice to make those other cookies. So that's okay. I got all kinds of goodies for a charcuterie board. I have to say it like that because it's fun. Um, my friend at school, my partner showed me a meme or read me a meme that says charcuterie boards are um, a result of all the kids who were raised on Lunchables. I <laughs> thought that was so funny. Anyway, I'm going to go stick this. I'm gonna cover it, stick it in the freezer, and then I will, what time is it? Seven, eight, nine, yeah, I can get these done tonight. I will take, the, well, but will I? No, probably not, I'll probably leave it overnight. I'm gonna leave this in there because, will I? No, I won't, just kidding. Oh, that would have been bad if it would have flung. Oh, again, I feel like, I should stop doing that. I won't, but I should. Okay, so once this is hardened, you scoop it out with, I use a, um, like a teaspoon scoop because it gets really hard. Scoop, roll until it forms a ball-ish, you know, about that big. Can you picture that, that big? And then like a, like a three quarters of a golf ball, three quart half three quarters or half of a golf ball. Then you roll it in finely shredded coconut. Set entree, freeze, and yum. So tomorrow's vlog, I will show you the rest of this and then probably we'll make something else because I've gotta get busy. I'm gonna make like three or four things. This was one, so that took like no time. Of course, this is the easy part. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna meet a friend for coffee. So, oh, I know what I was gonna say. The fries that I went to, they were, okay. You guys know the struggle with mustard greens that I have, right? So I get there and the produce section is beautiful and it's full of all these, hold on, all these yummy things. And so there was a young man who was working there and I walked up and I said, can you point me toward the mustard greens? He says, yeah, you know what? We're all out. Of course you are. Why is there a run on mustard greens always? So he pointed and sure enough, there's a little sign there that says, we're so sorry for the inconvenience. We're out of this product. He said somebody must have come and bought the whole case because they're all gone. So anyway, it's fine. I still have a couple days worth, but I thought since I was there, I would just grab them. So anyway, I did not get mustard greens and they did not have normal carrots and they did not have celery. Like what? Anyway, they had all kinds of other things. So I bought all the other things, but I need those things for my tortilla, tortellini soup that I make, not tortillas wrap that idea. I mean, that's a great idea, but it's not what's happening here. Tortellini soup that I was going to make. So I got the Parmesan cheese. I already have a huge bag of garlic because at Thanksgiving, I couldn't find the bags of garlic. And I remembered why I pay extra for the pre-peeled garlic, not mince, just like the whole garlic cube because I hate peeling garlic. So, and yes, I have the Pampered Chef thingy and yes, I have other magical devices. I still hate it. So 
I have the garlic, I have butter, I have uh, chicken broth, I have the Parmesan, I have all the spices and stuff that go into it. I need the tortellinis, I need the carrots, oh I need an onion too, carrots, onion, celery, that's what I need still. So. I'm gonna get all that tomorrow probably after I go to coffee. Really wanted to get it done today, but that's okay because still have a couple of days before I have to make it. So I will sign off here, but I will talk to you tomorrow. Um, hope you enjoyed the intro. Our dogs are morons, that's all I have. They saw me walking out the door and walking back in. Anyway, they just bark because that's what they do. So have a great rest of your evening and I will catch you back here tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 24. Bye.